Hey guys, it's Pep here. Welcome back to the Sentinel channel. Yes, it's another Creed versus Clone video today, but I thought I would like to do this one because unlike the last one I did, I think it's the only, well I've done a couple, I've done, I'll, I'll put links to them. Um, months ago I did a Aventus comparison to Zara Vibrant Leather. Uh, and I've done a comparison with Millicene Imperial and Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. In both of those cases, what ended up happening, the, the, pretty much the, the bottom line was that I found the, the, the quality and the wearing of the Creed fragrances to be superior in, in different facets compared to their cheaper, I guess, inspired by versions. Uh, I don't want to call them straight out clones because both of those other fragrances, the cheaper versions, uh, are completely wearable on their own as long as you, you know, obviously like it. Today's comparison is going to be with one of my very favourite creeds, one of my top two favourite creeds and that is Green Irish Tweed and one by Armaf and you know obviously Armaf talked about as having probably one of the closest versions of Aventus with Club de Nuit Intense Man. This one is Armaf Train Nui. I've got decants and little samples of both. So as per usual what I've done is I've I've already sprayed for dry down and I'll spray on the back of my hands for opening and we'll take it from there. All right, so on this hand, I'm going to spray some green Irish tweed. I'll do two sprays of each. And that green Irish tweed is really, you know, projecting off my hand at the moment. And there might be some minor difference in the amount the sprays push out because the green Irish tweed's, you know, atomizer is a little bit bigger. So, green Irish tweed in the in in the opening you get that you get certainly that lemon verbena and that underlying cut grass I get that cut grass now this note is not listed in either of these fragrances on Fragrantica but I certainly get quite a bit of galbanum um, in here or what I think it might be um, because uh, having now smelled galbanum on its own I, I certainly when I smelled that I I immediately thought of green Irish tweed when I when I smelled that so it's it's beautiful very natural smelling greenness you know uh, uh, what it's what it's basically famous for so what I get in in the trainui by Armaf uh, it, it is certainly a slightly different opening. There is, there is, what I get is, I get some, I get some of the, lav some lavender in the opening here. And having already, you know, smelled these two side by side with the dry down, what I'm getting, the main difference I'm getting is that the green Irish tweed opens to me a little bit brighter and and pops off the skin a little bit more than the Armaf. And the Armaf also has a bit of that, the sweetness that you can get from lavender sometimes that the green Irish tweed doesn't have. Okay, so once we start getting into the mids and particularly the, the bottom notes of these two fragrances is where you start to get a bit more similarity between these two. And the main thing that I have, I notice here is that they, they do get very similar. However, um, with the green Irish tweed, once you start getting a little bit of that musky, uh, muskiness and the sandalwood, the sandalwood is a note that I'm picking out that is different in each of these fragrances. So I'm not saying that one is better than the other, it just seems to me that once the woodiness starts to come out in the Armaf Trainui, it's a slightly different type of woodiness to the green Irish tweed. 
and you still get quite a bit of that lavender in in the Arn Laugh and and what happens in the green Irish tweed is that um, the violet leaf starts to come out you get more of the woodiness and a bit more of the ambergris in there and it happens again it, it does it, it it is a very good dry down very good facsimile of what's happening in the green Irish tweed but the fact that there is lavender all the way through this arm um, in, to my nose is the note that is really standing out to me ma still makes it different so my point is is that the Armaf is a is a really lovely fragrance on its own but there are differences if you're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison you are going to get differences if you were to buy Armaf Trenui Nui on its own without having smelled green Irish tweed for a long time or never having smelled green Irish tweed you would be perfectly happy with the way with the way this smells like like all of these comparisons if you're already familiar with the original and you already like it you are going to pick out differences with the with these copies replicas clones whatever you want to call them you are going to pick out differences now in all three of these cases where I've done a comparison with Creed Aventus or Creed Millicim Imperial and now with Green Irish Tweed, to my nose and on my skin, I prefer the way the Creeds play on my skin, what I get, uh, what I get to my nose. Now, if I'd never tried any three, you know, any of those three fragrances, any of the three Creed fragrances, I would have been perfectly happy with Vibrant Leather and love and luck and and now trend Nui by by our mouth of, of the three cheaper versions this is by far the closest in terms of what i what i would call quality uh a quality copy or version of the original green irish tweed but there are differences discernible differences when you're doing side by side comparison Again, standalone. If you get, if you spray the Trend Nui and someone hasn't smelled Green Irish Tweed for a while, it'd be very easy to say that it's there. Now, what I like about this is that this this doesn't smell like a cheap version. It still smells like quality. It, it's got a it has got a lovely dry down, just like the Green Irish Tweed, except it is it is different. So. Certainly, if you want to go for that green Irish tweed vibe um, or that style of fragrance, I would I would certainly recommend uh, Trend Nui by Armath. Uh, if you've already got green Irish tweed and you're happy to pay Creed prices or for whatever you can get it for, then I, you know, like myself, I probably stick with green Irish tweed just because I know it, I know what to expect, and. And using this would just be like using a slightly different fragrance and I would probably find myself wanting the green Irish tweed but to get started if you want to go into that into that genre of fragrance that beautiful woody green floral they, they are very close in the dry down I would uh, I would certainly give Armath a go if you're a fan of Armath certainly give this a go the, i mean if the other fragrances they have in their house is of quality the same quality as this at that price point uh there's obviously some bargains to be had and i know my good friend joy i mean uh has a lot of uh, has tried a lot of ama fragrances and he did a video a comparison video of trend Nui and green irish tweed as well and that was a really good video these are this is what i'm smelling on my skin my nose my brain is is interpreting all of these and that's my opinion but definitely i'm very impressed with the trend we is it exactly the same no probably you know if if the green irish tweed was 100 this would be about 90. so i hope you enjoyed that take i hope that uh helps you in in terms of you know what you're thinking about in terms of whether you think it's worth buying green irish tweed or if you have access to armor fragrances 
uh, that might be a better option for you. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.